uh, the best way to get in contact with support. As we move into the digital age, one of the, the great additions that we've added to uh, our support channels was the ability to get in contact with a, a live agent via chat. Um, so if you saw down there at the bottom, um, it's on our support page. As you travel through the page, whether it's through communities, or feature requests, product documentation within the Knowledge Center, um, that, that icon will be present so that you can quickly access our chat bot to start the process of getting in contact with support. So when you first get started, um, you could see here that, you know, it kind of just presents a few things, right? Uh, service status, which does link to the status pages, and it will go through and, and check the status of all of our products. Um, trending issues, which is highlight some articles for, for things that we're seeing in support. Um, and then you can then choose whether it's a technical support or customer service uh, type of issue. Um, so I'll go ahead and click on the technical support piece here. And the first thing that you are presented with are, again, some of the, the known issues that we're seeing um, within support uh, cases that are being created. And so these are, these are articles here um, that just touch on um, the issue, if it's a workaround or troubleshooting steps, um, if it's for how-to information like unable to upload or download files, folder permissions, et cetera, um, you can go ahead and, and select that. But if the issue you're having is not presented here, uh, simply we just click on something else and it's going to give us the option to search our knowledge base um, or to transfer to a live agent. So once you select that option, it's going to present you with a few different paths. Um, if we're having a technical issue, um, you're receiving an error or something's not working, uh, if you have a how-to uh, question, whether it's related to configurations or settings, um, if you're having an account or billing issue, um, which gets you in contact with our customer service um, team, uh, Podio, um, these, these options here are really just to get you directed and routed to the right team um, so that we can quickly assist you in answering those questions, um, including our sales team as well. Um, so let's just say for the sake of time, we have a technical question. The next thing we'll be presented with is the contact field. Now I've already logged in to the Experience Cloud here, so it, it's auto-populated some of my information. Um, but if I just quickly fill this out, we will type in how can we help today. It will then take a moment to get us connected to a live agent. Now, while this is transferring, um, you know, one of the great things about the chat has been that we've seen for our customers as we support all of you here, as well as your client users, um, is for the chat bot, uh, we, are able to quickly answer questions that our customers and your clients have. Um, the average speed for answer that we've seen uh, for getting connected to a live chat agent is about 17 seconds. Um, and that's taking, you know, for the whole quarter as we factor in uh, tax season and, and things, of, things of that nature. Um, so we're really focusing on being available and being able to get to your questions to address any issues you may have um, as quickly as possible. Now, one of the things that uh, are often brought up, and I'll end this here just so Dwayne doesn't uh, get confused on why I don't actually need his help, so I'll thank him later. Um, one of the questions that pops up from time to time is, Alex, what happens if uh, chat isn't, uh, I'm not able to resolve my issue within the chat? Um, We've heard our customers, and as we've grown in the digital age, as we've grown in the, in, in the chat, using chat to, to solve our customers' issues, um, if there's an issue in chat and we're not really able to get that issue resolved or that question answered um, within the allotted time, um, we've created an additional queue 
to where we call it our tier two queue, um, where if, if the issue just can't be resolved, um, what our chat agent is instructed to do is to then transfer that case to that specific queue um, where an agent will be assigned pretty quickly. Um, and then the agent will reach out within the allotted SLA time. Um, so that person will reach out to you via phone to be able to quickly hop on a call or schedule a call so that you two can troubleshoot that, that issue, um, whether it be through via screen share or um, just talking on the phone um, to make sure that we can really understand the problem that you're having um, and get it resolved as quickly as possible.